Hello everyone, I am super excited about this video because it includes three of my favorite things. First, customizing mechanical keyboards. I like all of the options, the possibilities, and the fact that I get to build something with endless variety as long as I don't mind waiting a little bit. And waiting. And waiting. Second, in this video we get to make something better, which I may turn into a series. If you think you'd like that, let me know in the comments below, please. And third, I get to do all of this for a friend, someone I care about. So Frosty Feet 8, this keyboard is for you. Welcome to Stupid Bullets Tech. When Frosty Feet reached out to me about getting her new keyboard, she needed something she could use right away something with arrow keys, and something nice that would last. We talked about her budget, that she wanted something well-made, and that it needed to be able to be made into her keyboard so that she was not stuck with something that could not be modified later to suit her. After some discussion, I suggested the Drop Alt High Profile, with the only caveat that she promised that I would get to modify it as a gift to her if and when she was ready, and that day is today. The Drop Alt in both the standard and high versions are very good keyboards. They have great reviews, and with one exception, which we talk about shortly, everybody seems to like them. They have 67 keys, and they fall into the 65% category, which is only one row wider than the popular 60% boards used by so many people for gaming, and they offer much better usability overall as they have arrow keys. Today, we're going to focus on the Drop High version. At over 1.2 plus kilograms, this is a chunky beast and feels substantial and solid on your desk. With the six degree typing angle, it is comfortable for typing and very good for gaming. It does come as a bare bones version if you know you're going to modify switches and caps or can include double shot PBT caps, which I do recommend. Switch choices are Cherry MX Blues or Browns, also offered as Halo Clears and Trues and if you're adventurous, you can even opt for some box whites or speed silvers. Color choices are black or gray, and it's hot swappable, which makes this a great choice if you wanna swap switches or try something new. Both the alt versions have full RGB and are completely customizable with per key and underlighting options on the board, as well as full compatibility with QMK firmware. Build quality is very good, and one of my favorite features is the dual USB-C options so that you're not stuck to one side of the board or the other for connections. Remember when I talked about the one problem these keyboards have? It's the stabilizers. Simply put, they are the rattliest, rattliest, is rattliest a word? Ra they are the worst stabilizers I have ever heard on a keyboard and really should never have been put on a keyboard of this caliber. So, the first order of business, let's fix these stabs. <gasps> Before building this or any other keyboard, make sure you've got all your tools, all your supplies at hand. You'll need a minimum lube, an applicator brush, a key switch puller, and a key removal tool, as well as your new stabs and switches. Tweezers and a key switch opener will come in very handy, and a lube station will make the task so much nicer. My preference is the lube station from Space Cables. Link here to a recent video we did with some other options as well. As a streamer and having Cherry Blues on her last keyboard, Frosty Feet requested something quiet. Very quiet. Apparently, her last keyboard had a bit of a reputation in her community and was not stream friendly. We chose Alpaca Lanier's for their smooth action and opted for the silent variant so that her community might once again regain its hearing and not duck every time she went for her keyboard in Overwatch. Switches were lubed with Crytox 205G0 from Divinikeys and switch films by TX Keyboards, all done off camera, and the end result was a very smooth, quiet experience. To enhance this silence, I chose laser cut foam from Stupid Fish. The guy who runs this company has an excellent reputation, offers a quality product at a very reasonable price, and it works well. I will put links in the description below. If you have ever tried to cut your own foam, a quick trip to his site will save you not only frustration, but time. 
The drop bolt kit comes with case foam and a very precise intermediate layer which goes between the plate and the PCB with every switch having individual cutouts. All in all, a good product worth the small investment. We will also be using Levias dampeners in place of a standard Band-Aid mod in this board purchased from Endgame Keys. It will be the first time I've tried these, so we'll learn together. As for the stabilizers, I chose Genuine Cherry Plate Mount Stabs from ZLPC. Sadly, screw and stabs will not work on this board. While Zeal PC is more expensive than other options, they are in stock, they have gold wires, and Frosty was certainly worth the extra cost to me. But before we take this apart, I wanted to show you some quick clips on why these stabs have such a bad reputation and they need to be replaced. This is Frosty Feet's board in its stock form. And besides the rattle palooza that's going on here, you can also hear ping if you listen carefully especially if you release the key quickly. As a comparison, this is another drop bolt, but this time with Holy Pandas, lubed and filmed with Stupid Fish Foam installed. The difference is striking. The Holy Pandas have that thock that so many people are looking for and have no rattle at all.
And finally, some before and after sound clips of Frosty Feet's board. Audio was recorded on a Rode VideoMic NTG, and the keyboard is on top of an artisan desk mat topped with a single sheet of foam board to isolate it. As always, thanks so much for watching. We do regular tech giveaways on Twitch, links below. And if you want to see more tech, tools, gadgets, and gear, and help out an old gamer, hit the sub button, click the bell, and we will see you soon. And remember, be good to yourselves.